Fowler, Chris Holder. Plays it back into his own zone on the right wing side. Spencer Hoare out through center with a tip in there uh, off the stick of John Evans. Carl Stankowski behind the goal, and this play here back behind the net. It's cleared around the boards to the left wing side. Evans on the left half board, down to the corner. Crystal tried to center it back in front of the back in the middle. Colby Elmer there to take it away from the Warriors. Starting up the left wing side is back. The lock gets the puck inside the V zone. Carson Cosma battling there with Lucas Cullen. Puck comes from the right circle there for Balaka. Down entire below the goal line. Around the boards on the right wing side. Hoare in for the blue line with a shot that was rejected from the front of the net by McIntyre. Below the goal line. McAdoo tried to find that handle on that, but Brockman will play it off to the left wing board. Now back to the blue line. Arden has working wide left. Circle shots. Low to the head penalty coming to Nico Somerville for more minutes, depending on when the next stoppage would be. Face off win for the V's, but they can't clear. The Warriors hold it in. Right wing corner now. Controlling that is West Kelowna. Back to the blue line it comes. Andrew Vigors to the left circle. Lucas Cullen a shot. And then it was been a save by Stankowski with his mask, I think. As he was able to get that one on a shot from the left side by Cullen. Warriors play it back in. Ethan Martini back for the puck and he'll fly it back inside of the Warriors zone. Vigors back onto this in his own end with half a minute gone and the man advantage. Long stretch pass up the right wing side. Sent along the left wing there by Kodak. Couldn't quite connect with his man. As he was trying to find Lucas Cullen on the left side. That's all the way back inside of the Warriors zone. Derek plays it back into the right corner. Back behind the net now is Nick Ardenaz. The UNH commit will get out to center. His pass off the stick of Tyler Crystal as he'll gather it back in the neutral zone. Crystal on the left wing side trying to work against the check of Sillinger. Played it along for Brendan Pigeon back in. Now to the right wing circle. John Evans back to the front of the net. That was blocked away by the V's. Down to the left wing corner. Kozma trying to steer this up the boards. Our play so it's really, really what the doctor ordered. Here they go. And the V's start things off by killing things off by icing the puck. David Cilia is going to get there first. Cilia has it shorthanded. Cilia up top. Sillinger loses it. And then Cilia collects it to keep the puck moving as the Warriors with a bit of a disastrous start in the first 25 seconds of the Westgate Truck and Auto power play. Westgate Truck and Auto get approved today. Up top is Holden Kodak as he enters the V zone. Kodak pressured from behind. Just plays the puck down low. Uh, I think he was looking for Brendan Pigeon. It's him, Tyler Crystal, and Arden has to go to work. Here's John Evans with some room. Evans down low. Crystal scores! The penalty kill with a minute 47 left. And and, and this is huge, too, because you really want to be able to uh, go, go out even in this period after uh, playing such a great, great uh, period. So a good start to the Houston Pizza penalty kill here for the Warriors. And you got to know the late period. Power play for the V's here. The Warriors would love to escape, but this game is scoreless. That's right. But of course, the V's sending out the big guns. David by Lucas Sillinger got through the defender's legs on the right wing side and from the right circle let a shot go that went off the post on the blocker side of Johnny Derrick. Puck around to the left wing side. Lackadoo holds it into the left point. Playing it there for Kalizic, left circle, back to the midpoint. Hutchison, right wing side, Malmquist. Malmquist, right circle, down to the goal line. Wait, tried to lay it back to the blue line. That gets past Warrior Net. Luckily, Niedermeyer will play it back to the point, to the right side. Sillinger, Sillinger a shot, Johnny Derrick the save. We'll see if Andrew Vigors can just find a way to clear. Instead, he tries to hold it in, and he fails. McIntyre at the point, again. Over to Sillinger, Sillinger, McIntyre. To the left side, Danny Wait, Wait. Back up top to Cilia, back to Wait, Wait. Cilia, McIntyre, oh he had an opening there for a shot, he didn't take it, and the Warriors will clear. A huge clearing for the Warriors as fresh penalty killers, or at least one gets back on the ice. Back over the other way comes Sillinger, backhand pass, it misses McIntyre, we'll see if Balaka can take the puck away from McIntyre. He's going to play it back for Niedermeyer, Niedermeyer, 4-on-2 four forming here for the Vs. Sillinger to the trailer weight, Danny Wait. Can't get around Austin Chorney. That's a good veteran play by Chorney. And then McIntyre can't hold the puck in. That's going to do it for the Lucas Cullen penalty. These are 0 for 1, but they still got plenty of power play time remaining. 53 seconds. Special thanks to Peyton Shell, who's running the uh, Hockey TV ticker for us. Yes, uh, Peyton was the late addition here. Yes. And uh, just, just sliding into the booth there, doing a really good job. Clutch. Just like our Hockey TV feed. Just clutch. Malmquist plays across her Somerville back to Malmquist. What a shot block there by Andrew Vigors doing Andrew Vigors things. Somerville for the point. Somerville again oh <laughs> holds on to it. Warriors trying to escape this period. Lackaduke 
across to Kalizic. 20 seconds remaining. Lakaduke again, can it set the pass? And you can see Novakoski wisely trying to hold the puck in, but the Bees spring it loose. Somerville. Back to Kalis, or Malmquist, rather. Back over to Somerville. Somerville, shot blocked by Evans. Two 